Assalamu alaikum, I am Nilipari Yasmin. Hello my dear students, how are you? I think all of you are fit and fine. I am your science teacher. Welcome to my online class. Dear students, in your last class I discuss with you some true or false. I hope all of you are learned it. So dear students, today I discuss with you a new chapter, chapter number 12 and chapter name is Population and Natural Environment. So dear students, there are many things around us such as friends, trees, animals, soil, water, air, sunlight and houses. All the things surrounding us make our environment. We are surrounded by various types of things in the classroom. There are chairs, desks, books, classmates and teachers. There are trees, cattle, soils, water, air and sunlight in the field. All these things inevitably make our environment. My dear students, please take your science book and open your book, page number 75. So dear students, we can short things in the environment into two groups, natural things that are not made by people and man-made things. The environment can be classified by its components such as the natural environment and man-made environment. We live in both our natural and man-made environment. We are surrounded by many things such as trees, birds, sunlight, water and air. We cannot make these things. They are created by nature. An environment having these natural things is known as a natural environment. We make various kinds of things, houses, buildings, table, chair, and clothes are made by people. Roads, buses, trains, and boats are also made man-made things. An environment having these Man-made things is known as man-made environment. So dear students, do you know what is population? The number of people who live in the same area is called its population. I repeat it again. The number of people who live in the same area is called its population. Bangladesh has a very large population. According to the population census 2011, it is about 15 crore. It is increasing day by day. Dear students, now I discuss with you the impact of population growth on our life. So, students, in your textbook page number 75, you can see our activity, which name is Impact of Population Growth on Food and Space. So, what to do? Number one, prepare a five meter rope and five cards with food written on them. Number two, form a group of ten and make a loop with the rope on the floor. Number three, one student gets into the loop with five cards. Number four, second student gets into the loop and takes one card from the first student. Point number five, continue the same process until 10th student gets into the loop. 
so dear students in the picture uh, in right hand side you can see a loop of 5 meter rope and you can see five cards in it you can see 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 7 8 8 students who is standing uh, they are standing uh, they are doing different works Okay, you have to uh, you have to do it right now. Please take your science copy. Okay, and take your pencil also. So, dear students, are you ready to write? In the picture, you can see uh, you have to draw five meter rope, a loop of five meter rope. Uh, like your textbook, textbook picture, uh, like a textbook picture, and five cards with food, and you can also include food name. So think and share. We had five cards, so only five persons got the cards after getting into the circle of the group. The other five persons did not get any card. Therefore, only five persons would stand in the circle. None of the ten students would stand comfortably. When they entered the circle as they had to stand compactly. So, the main statement of the activity is they need more food and space due to the increase in population. So, dear students, I hope you can understand what is the meaning of today's activity. So, the main state, statement of the activity is they need more food and space due to the increase in population. Please turn over your face. Okay. Now I discuss with you the impact of population growth on our life. The more the population increases, the more food and space are needed. But food and space, food and space are limited. If the population continues growing, we will face, face different types of problems such as shortage of food to eat and space to live, etc. In fact, there is a shortage of food in some parts of the world due to the growing population. People in a family need food and space to live. If the number of people in a family increases, they need more food to eat and space, study and sleep. Also, it would be easy to get disease in a crowded house. So, dear students, you can see two pictures in your textbook, page number 76. The picture uh, number one, uh, num picture number one, you can see, uh, and this is a family picture where um, the family members are sleeping. Uh, father, mother and two children. So, what do you understand from these pictures? I hope you can understand and have a space to sleep. Or second picture is uh, 
it is also a family picture father is more you can see our father or mother and more uh, they have one two three four five five children so what do you mean what do you understand from this pictures so i hope you can understand from this picture not enough space to sleep okay so dear students here uh, uh, in your textbook you can see uh, some discussion for you how can we make our family happy how can we make our family happy so one number one make a table like the one shown below think about the following question what sort of problems do you face if the number of family members increase so number three share your ideas with you parents or brother or sisters so uh, you can see our table what sort of problems do you face if the number of your family increases so um, uh, you can write uh, like this i discuss with you uh, shortly what sort of problems do you face uh, if the member of the family increases one more food to eat is required and more space to study and sleep is required and also expendi uh, expenditure of educational materials like book pencil pen notebook etc increases so uh, discussion uh, through discussion uh, we we are able to know that many problems can occur due to the increase of family members for instance the total expense of a family increases also the risk of becoming ill increases because of living in a crowded house so the impact of population growth on the natural environment okay my dear students so dear students what we have learned today's lesson we have learned today's lesson what is population cause of growth population and what happens to our life if population increases so dear students no more today please note down today's homework Your previous homework, read page seventy-five to seventy-six. I hope you have finished your writing. If you have any inquiry, please contact with me. Thank you.